Hi everyone, <laughs> welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm doing something I normally don't do. Oh, I've done it before, so I guess it's... Shut up, Patrick, just move on. Okay, so <laughs> this is a gift from one of my, one of you wonderful people. And she didn't say I couldn't say her name, so I'm gonna say it. This is from Kath and her husband, Ken, in the UK. They sent me a package and gosh, was I surprised at what's inside because I had no idea. Well, now I have an idea, but because I care about you all, I want to share it with you before I devour it. That's right, devour. So what we have here is candy. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful chocolate. And just various different kinds and, and brands I'd never heard of before. This one's suitable for vegetarians. That's pretty awesome. This is made in Malta. <laughs> that is so cool. This one's called Galaxy. It's a milk chocolate. Does that look great? I'm so excited to try these. Okay, this one, th these two are the same company, or the same name anyway, Milka. And they're two different types. This one is, I think that's hazelnut, and this one is caramel. So, these are, let's see, la la la. I could read small print just fine. I don't know where this is because it's a no. Let's say I'm going to keep reading here. I don't know. I'll have to look this up online. But okay, so there's this. These just look fantastic. I I am getting hungry just looking at these. They're so cool. Yes, I love chocolate. I can't help it. And I don't eat it very often. But when the opportunity arises, I'm not going to say no. And this one is called Butler's Irish Coffee Chocolate Truffle. Okay, that is speaking my language. Um, this one is made in Ireland. How awesome is that? Um, and I've never heard of any of these companies, which makes it even cooler. Did you know the one I'm really excited about? These, which I can dig into. They're called Lucky Leprechaun Lollipops. How cool is that? And they just, they, they're just so pretty to, oh, look, they have little leprechauns on the suckers. Can you see the little leprechaun? <laughs> these are fantastic. Where are these from? Ireland. The leprechaun fire. Okay. How cool is that? Isn't that neat? I'm just really excited about all of this. Kath, you outdid yourself. You made my day. I'm going to have a ball. <laughs> Here I am thinking, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to quit eating junk food. And what shows up in the mail? Yay! This isn't junk food. These are actually part of any well-balanced diet. And I dare you to argue that point. And this, well, that's part of the food group. Sure. <laughs> thank you, Kath and Kim. Thank you, sir. These are fantastic. All right. So then I got something else. And I don't know who they're from because they didn't claim them. <laughs> they didn't tell me it was coming. They just showed up. And they're from, they came through Amazon, but I have no idea who they're from. But one is a really long spatula. Someone saw me with the bucket, I guess, having... Here, I'll show you my normal size spatulas over here. Do you see that's a good, you know, four to five inches? And then here are the smaller ones. These are the ones that I got from Kenya, which I really like. These are handy for scraping things out. But now I've got a super big one here for that deep bucket. And someone saw that. I know that's why. Why else would you send someone? And it's heavy, which for me is fine. I, I am too. 
But isn't that nice? It's all silicone and black. I like it. It's really nice looking. Um, it's just a nice thing. I don't know why I got this. I wouldn't know why. Like I said, someone just thought I deserved it, I guess. We're going to go with that. Um, I don't deserve anything. And then I got these. And I know what these are because I do have some. You just haven't seen me use them in a video because, well, I just never thought of using. But this is cake scrapers of various sizes. And not just cake scrapers, but... I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that I guess it came off here. But there's just various different shapes. But I've seen people use these in soap, you know, for creating a texture and things. So it's given me an idea that I might play with. But these came, I don't know who they're from. I'm hoping they'll claim it after they see this video. I think I know, but I'm not going to guess because they may not want anyone to know. There are people that just like to give surprises and boy was I surprised at these so these are the I'll use these and this I will use like I said I have a couple of these the flat kind that I have but I didn't have any of these kinds so these are going to be fun to play with I'm really looking forward to that and finally I have a soap review of sorts someone actually wrote me and said can I send you some stuff and you just do a review on them because they're starting trying to grow they currently don't have but one video i think on their youtube channel but they do have a store so i want to talk about that a bit and we're going to start out by here i'm going to bring their goodies over here so this this and this are kind of uh a series here that they have of the Bite Me fragrance, which I wasn't familiar with until I got this. I've heard people talk about it in videos, but it's not something I was familiar with. Where's my remote control? There it is, so I can zoom in a bit here. Here, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. A little more. All right. So, she included, her name is Barb, just a really nice lady. And... I want you to take a look at the beautiful color in that. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that a pretty color? Pink. There are actually two different pinks. Kind of a reddish pink and then kind of a blush pink. And so pretty on the top. Do you see the teeth? Vampire teeth. Biting into the neck. And look at the blood. Isn't that terrific? And it's called Bite Me. Isn't that great? Very clever. And then a shark. Look. Baby shark, baby shark, and see the blood in the mouth. And again, this is uh, just very well made, very well put together. I just thought it was really well done. And there, you can do a little reading on it there. And she knows these aren't things I can use. We had a discussion via email, but they'll be great for a giveaway that I have coming up. So Barb. I want to say what a tremendous job you did with this. I mean, that's phenomenal. Great job with the color. Um, I realize we can make a shark with a mold, but the way you colored this and painted it and the blood, and it's really well done. That is very nicely done. Very photorealistic. And then she sent this, which is a Shea body butter. So I'm going to put the ingredients up there. And it, I did open this just to see what the fragrance was. Um, now, I will say this. In the ingredients, it says the following. Well, here, I'll show you what it says. There you go. But it did not melt in shipping. So I'm, I'm just curious how something made with shea butter, coconut oil, and tapioca starch, and just fragrance... In Texas heat of 110 in, and even hotter in my mailbox, didn't melt. So I'm just curious and I'm hoping maybe Barb can let me know because I've used tapioca starch, and but tapioca starch wouldn't keep the oils from melting. So I'm just wondering what magic she used to make this stand up. So I'm wondering if there's just an ingredient that maybe she didn't list on the label or... Magic? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe one of you know how can, 
Uh, can you get shea butter coconut oil to remain fluffy like that with just tapioca? I Maybe you can, and that's a new one for me. I might have to play with that. But here, I'm going to go ahead and... I actually have a little pink spatula. This is one of the ones that uh, I got from Kenya. So I can just show you the texture of it. I can't really touch it because the fragrance is kind of heavy in here and I have already figured out that I'm kind of allergic to that fragrance. <laughs> I figured it out when I opened it earlier. It smells great. And please understand, this is not a diss on barbs. There's nothing wrong with the fragrance. I'm the wimp when it comes to fragrance oils. But I do want to show you that beautiful texture. Isn't that nice? It's very smooth. That's why I'm amazed this traveled. I've tested, actually in my own mailbox, I've tested body butters in it in the heat of summer. That's why I don't ship them in the heat of summer, for that reason. And I'm just amazed that this held up with just tapioca flour, because tapioca flour, while it does have some properties in it that can help uh, things to, uh, structures to hold up, it's not going to prevent oils from melting. So that I'm amazed by and has some, I would just love to know more about it. But it smells really, that's a nice kind of a candy smell to it. These are very well made. Then she sent this wonderful cocoa butter lip balm. And it's called Chocolate Truffle. Just fantastic. I'm not going to open this either. It's just going to go into because um, I have things that I'm preparing for. I can't tell you <laughs> yet, <laughs> but these are going to go into this thing that I'm doing with some of the other things people have sent in. But check out uh, her website. Now, let's see. It's on here. It's on here. So here, I'm going to hold this up here so you can check out Barb's website, The Soap Hive. Can you see that? Check out her website and look up The Soap Hive. I'll put the link to her YouTube channel up here but i just wanted you to make sure you could see that okay fantastic so wow what a great day this was today um you know to open up my mailbox and to find all of these wonderful goodies and items and candies and soaps and spatulas and oh, just goodies look at all this i'm a rich man indeed thank you all so much Big love. Talk to you again soon, everyone. Goodbye.